I am as a Jamal. So this will be the new series of programming. So if anyone who doesn't know anything about programming and and they want to start learning coding from scratch, I think this programming series will help us grow and make you love programming. So I'll be covering VBScript in this videos, series of videos. So in this channel, we have also uploaded gaming videos. Also, and we are planning to upload many programming videos also. So today, let us start uh, basics of VBScript. So guys, without any further ado, let's start VBScript. So, um, so let us keep some agenda for this part one. So what will be the agenda for VBScript? So guys, we'll be covering what is VBScript? What are the features? What are the advantages of VBScript? What are the disadvantages? So, guys, what is VBScript? What is VBScript, right? So, VBScript is just a scripting language. So, there is a difference between scripting language and a programming language. So, we can say all scripting languages are programming languages but not all programming languages are scripting languages. They are just used for client-side scripting. VBScript in particular, we use in Internet Explorer client-side scripting. So there is another, another scripting language which is also famous, is JavaScript. So JavaScript is a little, little bit advanced. So if you want to start from the beginning, VBScript is ideal scripting language to learn. So syntax will be similar. All programming languages have similar syntaxes. So if you learn one, you can learn many things, right? So, um, so let us have an answer for first question, right? So what is VBScript? So VBScript stands for Visual Basic Scripting, right? It is a scripting language. So what are the features? What are the most important features of VBScripts, right? So um, VBScript and this declaration is not in integers, not float to float values. Here we use declaration as dim. Dim is used for declaration of variables. Yeah, we'll get to know this uh, more in, the, in depth for future videos so let me give this as first right. so what is another future of the script so basically this is this case insensitive What is case insensitive? Any variable declared, whether this is a capital letter or small letter, they are same. Let me give an example. Um, for example, dim value or dim value, both the same, right? So let me show an example. So, okay. So I'm starting my first um, first code. So it is just to show a uh, feature. 
like how case insensitive works in WebScript, but we'll learn in depth in future videos, right? So we'll have dim, we'll declare dim, we'll declare a value. Uh, we are declaring a variable, yeah? So variable name is a value. So let us assign value to a value variable. So let us get to, and um, as simple as that, message box is a printing statement, right? So let's print the value of the value is. So if you want to concatenate it, if you want to concatenate this um, string statement with an output form of a variable is value. So you have to give ampersand symbol here, right? Um, let me show you this first. So let us save as, so here we can, can save all as, all files should be selected here. So let us say case in sensitive dot VBS. VBS should be an extension for VBScript. So let us save this. So let us minimize this for the time being. So let us uh, double click it. So the output is here. The value is two, right? So let us close this. And let me open, let me open this again. So let me add one more statement. So that I want to print a value of, the value of this variable value in in capitals right so value is so i'll give in all caps right so let us save this let us see what is the result so let me double click it if you double click it it will execute so see here, this is the first statement, the value small letters is the two. And so here you can see the second print statement, the value is two. So you can see here whether it is small val small letters value variable or a capital letters value variable, it is taking the value as two, fine. So let us minimize this and let us go to our agenda, back to our agenda. So, um, so this is case insensitive, right? So, I think if you have uh, any doubts, uh, you can always uh, comment me. Uh, you can always comment on the video. So I'll be taking as much as my time to resolve the comments. So, um, this is a popular scripting language, right? So, basically, people who are going for testing your testing so who wants uh, to test unified functional testing uft or previously called as qtp so vbscript is only language used in that tool and that is the most advanced tool in testing right it tests web, web applications it is used to test windows applications while uh, uft will be a different topic altogether right we'll cover that if possible in future videos so this is, it is a popular scripting language. Popular scripting language used in UFT. It is unified functional testing. So it was previously known as uh, this tool previously known as QTP, Quick, Quick Test Professional, fine.
so these are the one of the very high level features of web script and um, we'll get advanced concepts later so these are advances very high level views of web script right so so let us go for that question what are the advantages of web script so if any uh, programmer there wants to learn web script just why he wants to learn web script right so the first first thing is it's very very easy to code very easy to code as you can see here let's um here there is no need for declaring a variable i'll show an example right let us see one example so let's keep uh, a equal to two if i put let us give so let me declare non declaring variable right the value let's put the value for if i just So let us save as. So let me put all files non declaring variable dot bbs, right? Let us save this. So you can see here. So I'll just close this and so you can see the value for right even though if we don't declare the value comes here so if anyone just not following the programming strictly if you people have if you any one of you have if seen java uh, we can't directly declare like this right we can't initialize the we, uh, without declaring a variable it will not work it will throw a syntax error right so here you can see it is very easy to code so let's go to our agenda again and yeah i think this then the point we have already covered it is case insensitive so if we forget uh if we're writing huge lines of code if we forget in between so keeping a value capital letters and in between the code if you have used small letters it will work As I said, uh, in the programming knowledge, knowledge is not required, right? It's, it's just a programming language, just scripting language, the language for beginners who just want to learn in IT, right? In the programming language, no prior experience is required. Just have to open it, just have to start writing it so one other thing is as uh, i didn't install normally uh, if you want to execute java right we have to install jdk and then we have to install java runtime and one jre then we can have to start we have we might have to um, we, we can write in notepad code then again previously we have to install jdk and jre for java to work right so it is a uh, this is a Windows operating system, and it directly has uh, Windows VB script users, Windows scripting house. So, so no need to install any prior uh, softwares. So it uses it uses Windows scripting house. So no need to install any other prior doc, prior softwares for VB script, VB script to execute. Right, like example, you can see Java. So we might have to install JDK and Java. 
right um let us see of our last no but not the least disadvantages i will not go in depth in disadvantages as uh this is just a video for beginners right who wants to learn more about programming and more about ruby script so i can only think of very few disadvantages so ruby script only works in windows right so yeah it only works in windows operating system as it uses uh it doesn't use in mac so as java is platform independent we can install java in any of those right so it works only in operating systems in the operating system right it only and uh, as i've mentioned earlier that um, it is a proper script language used in uft here in second point right so uh, it works with ie right it only supports ie in fact this point uh, works interesting so you don't understand now just uh, for, yeah, don't uh, stress on this point so much so firefox Firefox and other browsers. So basically, other browsers we use the support. Okay. So basically, we have uh, finished our agenda for today's video. And let's see. I'll. Uh, Okay, I forgot to write. Doesn't so okay. Doesn't support here. Yeah? Okay. So um, in future parts, I'll be covering all the variables, if clauses, loops, advanced concepts, arrays, and all. So this will be the first part of our VBScript series. So till then, if you have any doubts and if you are just learning. Uh, to program this is the platform this is the these are the videos you can watch okay thank you thank you so much please like subscribe and hit the bell icon till then goodbye